Okay, here's UFO Shelley. We're at the October 29th uh, UFO, meetup. LA UFO meetup. Um, yeah, we saw quite a few things today too, so it was really fun. And I wanted to tell you guys, I did see a couple more strange things uh, from our last meetup that uh, I wanted to share with you. During, I don't know what it is, but I feel like as the years go by and you keep sky watching and these things show up for you, that um, more and more will start following you if you're interested enough. That at, literally at my lunchtime, um, they come to me and they, they will show up. So the other day, I was sitting there and 15 minutes later, I literally looked up and this balloon-like thing manifested with drippings of like energy coming down and created a tether and then went into a balloon formation. And I'll show you a quick... Uh, photograph of the first photograph Ooh, I got cool. from it. Let's see if I can... Can you get that in there? It was interesting color. enough to see. Yeah, well, that, that but was it odd. it stayed like 15 minutes, but you see like how there's like four looking weird objects around the... Yes, what the hell? I don't know. It was really bright. Yeah. And they do show up like often, but it was weird. I'll, I'll show you another one. Let's see. Not that one. Yeah, right away people go, oh, it's a Sorry. Then you I'm look all at scanning it. while you're on there. Look, look at this one. Yeah. Same one. You but can't you see, buy these in the store. No, look at how thick the tether is. Look at the strings on that, folks. Telephone yeah. pole. Yeah, the yeah. tether is really thick. So it's just interesting that, like, once you become connected with them and if you're interested in them and, and you realize that they're not balloons and they're actually a living entity, that they do start to show up and you can kind of tell which ones are the real ones or not. And sometimes you can't because that's how good they are. But literally, I. That happens often at my lunch where they'll just show up. And I work in Santa Clarita sometimes and I was driving in my car for three minutes and I, didn't, I usually don't look for them while I'm driving but I caught my eye on something and one of the big white orb looking ones showed up in the distance in the sky and I looked at it and I said, is that one of them? And is that one of them? And then I looked again and then behind a tree another one popped up next to it and I go, oh my God, that's them and I went crazy. So, cause I never usually see them while I'm driving. So I pulled over, found a place to pull over and while I was driving though, they weren't really round, round shaped. They were kind of odd shaped like this. And they were spindling counterclockwise, both of them together, a little apart, like this. And they went like this. And then when I pulled over and I got out of the car, they, they stopped because I got out of the car and stopped. It was weird. And then they just hovered there for a while and did this. And it was amazing. I had no camera with me because out there I usually don't like have time or, or see them out there. So I was not able to capture it, but it's just amazing. I think they do know that you're looking and they are more connected to you when you when you are looking or not looking sometimes and then they'll come around when they want. But it's just amazing that how often that they show up, but to see them doing this and then stopping. And then I got, when I finally got my car, I stayed 15 minutes. Were they different colors? No, they were kind of white and not solid, like a cloud color white, but like glowing a little bit and odd shaped and then they they will go next to a tree i don't know why and then they'll stop for 15 minutes like they'll literally travel and then they will stop at a reference point like a tree or something it's amazing but Holy it was amazing crap. and a lady pulled up behind me and she goes what are you looking at and i go look i go do you see that it, it looks like a ufo and she goes oh my god i have to show you something so she's looking through her phone and cars are lining up behind her she's at a light and then she's looking at her phone, she shows me something, and they were hiking out in Santa Clarita, and then there was this glow coming out of a bush. Her friend got a picture of something glowing out of a bush that was green coming out. So, And then the cars were honking, so she just took off, but she saw it too. So it's amazing. They do follow you, and, and they'll come around more as the years go by. So I think if people are looking up more, and not just the chemtrails, I know there's a lot of that, and a lot of those orbs will be around the chemtrails too. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, and there's been a lot of chemtrails. So I think they're here probably because Maybe they're here to help humanity. We don't know. And no people can make fun of us and all they want, but uh, people like us, there are a lot of people, millions of people out there that have seen these. And you sure. can't deny what your eyes are seeing. It, you know, you either believe in it or not, but if it's in front of you, I mean, no, what else proof thing. you need? Yeah. That's true, too. So it's just, it's just interesting. They, you know, they'll start coming around people more and more if people feel more connected with them. So what was the one I heard you talking about, a triangle earlier? Oh, yeah. At one of my lunches um, about a week ago, uh, my coworker and I were sitting out there, and then she's looking too, because she's—I taught her how to look for them. And she's looking up. She's looking up. She's like, "Oh my God, there's one there!" And she goes, "Look at their triangle formation. There was two white orbs and a red orb. Mm -hmm. So the two white orbs were one was above the other, and the red one was here. And then they were traveling above the building, <clears throat> not low, but like kind of following above the sky a little bit higher. Right. But they held their triangle formation like this, literally like 
10-15 minutes and then one of them paired off up here and then the red orb went off here and it was amazing and other people saw it too that was with oh, us yeah, so balloons, I'm not balloons kidding. don't do that yeah and you know there'll be periods of times where like nothing I'll look 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 and nothing shows up and then one minute before I have to go back and clock in for work something I'll go oh thank you for waiting like the last minute to show up but you know it it's more often now than it than it has been before and sometimes there's periods where like months will go by and, and you don't see as much activity but towards the end of the year for some reason there's a lot of activity I don't That's know why cool. so we're in for some some changes in the world and that and the atmosphere out there and, and the universe and people and everything so we'll just uh, pray that everything turns out good and you guys keep your eyes to the sky because we got more stuff to share Yay. peace out Nothing up there yet. Woo. Fake clouds. I know. Totally. Oh my God. Don't breathe it in. <laughs>